Okay, to illustrate uh, electrostatic forces, we'll consider a sodium ion with a positive charge and a chlorine ion with a negative charge. And these are separated by some distance. Here's the letter R for distance. And we can describe the energy of the interaction between these two charges using Coulomb's law, which states that energy is equal to some proportionality constant times the product of the two charges divided by the dielectric constant and by the ra radius or the distance. We measure distances using angstroms. angstroms. One angstrom is equal to 10 to the minus 10 meters. So it's a really small distance. But everything we're considering in this class is on a very small scale inside of the cell. D, this is the dielectric constant. And the strength of the interaction between these two ions depends on the milieu that, in which they're situated. And we can describe the environment using this dielectric constant. And if we consider a vacuum, so there's nothing there, then dielectric constant is 1. But when you get into water, there's a lot of shielding going on. The water molecules are good at shielding ions and solvating them. There, the dielectric constant is 80, meaning, since this is in the denominator, that the energy of the interaction will be much weaker for these two ions in water compared with in a vacuum. We're interested in what's going on inside of macromolecules, where you often have a nonpolar type of environment, so something different from water. And there, dielectric constant ranges between 2 and, and 5, so something intermediate between a vacuum and nonpolar situation. The important thing to remember about electrostatic interactions is that electrostatic interactions can be repulsive, and that's if you have like charges. But they can also be attractive, as we've drawn here with two complementary charges. So those, this situation will give you energies less than 0. In this situation, energy will be greater than 0, unfavorable. Favorable. Also, the energies end up being quite large uh, over even longish distances. So the, the range of distances that we're considering here varies from about 2.5 angstroms all the way out to 5.5 angstroms or, or so. So quite a long range interaction for these weak forces.